What's this? I'm back from vacation and the anime game announcements haven't stopped? This is unprecedented. We've got the first trailer for the Made in Abyss game. Now this is a game that we made a video on a while ago, but all we had so far were a couple of screenshots. The screenshots didn't look great, and also this is being developed and published, I believe, by Spike Chunsoft. Which, as everyone knows, is my favorite developer. So let's see what this game looks like in motion, we're gonna react, and then we'll break it down if there's anything to break down. That's right! It's oh, it stopped. Begun. Oh gosh. I don't think I've ever heard... Made in Abyss dubbed. Chasing after Ma after Liza, the white Lisa. Okay. I, I was thinking that this doesn't look bad, and then it cuts to an engine. It's I love the design. But like the environment just looks <laughs> super outdated. Game's coming out this year. Uh PC, Switch, and PlayStation, I think. I already knew how you felt. My body remembers. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it looks... It looks rough. But maybe it plays great. Who knows? Who knows? Okay. I didn't like that knockdown animation. Right! This had character creation. You make your character and you go on your own expedition. And there's also the original story and... She got knocked down and another knockdown. <laughs> These knockdown animations don't look great, but that's all they're showing. Ugh. Ugh. What's going on? Ah! Sorry, everyone was talking at the same time. Not, not cool, dude. Fall 2022. Did we have a release date? I don't think we did. Well, I did say it was coming out this year, but that's because I read the description of the video before watching it. Uh, yeah. <sighs> like, the graphics is like, whatever. It doesn't look great, but that's not the most important thing. To me, it's more about what they chose to show and how confident they are in the gameplay that they're showing. And I don't think any of it looks good. Like, first of all, you're getting knocked down by this huge lobster and the knockdown happens so late. Like, the attack isn't even there anymore. She's, she's getting knocked down by a water ripple. And it's also just how the momentum completely stops and there's this huge falling animation that just seems annoying as hell. You can see it as these little creatures are chasing this dude, the created character. Like, he first stops, yells, and then just falls to his knees. He was running. The momentum just completely stops and he falls face first into the ground. This sounds like nitpicking, but it's not. It's just animation makes games feel good. And this is not the type of animation that makes a game feel good. And then you look at combat and it's like, yep, there's an attack with a pickaxe. Oh, look, a super not obvious trap at all. Let's do another fall animation where you just flip around. <laughs> Why is it so long? And also, why are they choosing to just show characters falling down over and over? Do you fall that much in this game? Is that what you do? You just go around and fall? Now, what came after this, I actually did enjoy quite a bit. Not in a sadistic kind of sense, because it does get a little bit gory, but in the sense that, hey, we could just make an anime game for kids, but we're not gonna do that, because it's Made in Abyss, and Made in Abyss is fucking dark. So this is a survival game, and you see the character throwing up, probably because they went too deep into the abyss. Then you see a creature sucking the guts out of an explorer, you see the protagonist just dead. Like, it's bloody, it's gory, and I I'm kind of glad they went that far. Wait, did someone just get trampled? I completely missed this the first time. That is brutal. Steam Switch and PS4, those are the platforms. Look, jokes aside, I don't think Spike Chunsoft is a bad developer. I just think they've made a ton of bad arena fighters in the past. This is not an arena fighter, however, but it still looks like they have those One Punch Man falling animations, which are part of the reason why One Punch Man always felt super clunky. I don't think they learned a lesson there. They're making a clunky-ass game. Or at least that's what it looks like. Obviously, this is just a trailer and it's heavily edited. I'm just calling things how I see them. And this is Spike Chunsoft soft developing and publishing this is not associated with bandai namco in any way so they have complete control over this and this is what they chose to show it's super odd anime games are changing though i wasn't gonna make a full video about this next topic because i i don't think a lot of you guys care about the business side of things too much which is fair you don't have to but while i was on vacation shueisha announced the games division shueisha publishes the weekly shonen jump and has published a ton of popular manga 
probably most of the ones you know, One Piece, Naruto, Dragon Ball, Hunter x Hunter, all of those. Now, the way things usually work is Shueisha sells the license for a particular IP, to a game's publisher like Bandai Namco. Let's say Bandai buys the Naruto IP and now they can publish Naruto games. Shueisha announcing a games division could be a big shift in the industry. Because I believe this is the company looking at those licenses and saying, well, if they're buying these, they're probably making money. So how about we just make the games ourselves? I don't think they're just suddenly gonna make all anime games, but they are the ones that hold the key to all anime games, or most of them at least. But if that's the case, this change is definitely gonna take a while to happen. They are planning on releasing console games, PC games, as well as mobile games, but they're gonna start doing it only in Asia and Japan, and maybe then expanding to the rest of the world. So this will be a very, very slow process. As for what games are they publishing? Well, the website doesn't show much. There's a few indie games they're publishing from an initiative they launched last year for indie developers and then if you scroll down further on the website they're selling bleach manga on their front page i would say shueisha has a ton of manga to sell but for some reason they chose bleach on their front page and you scroll down even further and it says new title coming soon are these two related is shueisha the one that's finally gonna put out a decent bleach game i don't know as a developer, they're practically brand new to the industry. I'm sure they're going to put out a lot of bad stuff before they start putting out good stuff. So we'll see how good or bad of a change this is for anime games. But anyway, what did you guys think of Made in Abyss? I've shared my thoughts. They're not very good thoughts, but I want to know what you guys think. And also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button down below. And as always, thank you very much for watching. My name is Globku and I'll see you next time. Bye!